right. Well, we'll do uh, we'll do one more. I had uh, from farther further. Um, <laughs> what insights can you share with us about your performance at the Bohemian Grove? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you what. I don't talk much about the Bohemian Grove because, you know, it's it's a place that people go to get away from from the spotlight. You know, a lot of a lot of relatively uh, well-known guys or members of that club. But uh, basically, it was founded uh, 130 years ago or so. Uh, by artists and writers, for artists and writers. And still, in order to get in, you have to have something to offer in that in that kind in that regard. A lot of the a lot of the members are uh, you know successful entrepreneurs or businessmen of one sort or another, but they, they all have an artistic bent. Um, the stuff you hear about it in the rumor mill is while entertaining. I've never caught any original sacrifices, <laughs> um, anything kind of remotely like that. I have mean, had some interesting times up there, um, and you know there are a lot of movers and shakers in that club, and I enjoy the uh, I enjoy the chance, given my 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 mindset, my Weltschmerz, if you will. Uh, I enjoy a chance to to get. To get together with those guys and knock a couple back and uh, and talk it down. <laughs> I one time I uh, spent a weekend up there. Um, I ran into a guy named uh, General Bill Quinn, and we had a couple drinks together. We were sitting in front of a fireplace, and we just started telling we we. We fell fell in together, and we started telling you know war stories. He was the guy that uh, Herman Goering uh, sur surrendered not his sword, but his basically it was a mace. He surrendered his, but he uh, he sought uh, he sought out Bill Quinn, uh, Wild Bill Quinn, who was also the uh, the original um, the original head of the OSS, which became the CIA. He was a very very interesting guy. And we just went back and forth. We had a crowd of people um, gathered around us at all times. And we'd, we'd about late afternoon, we'd uh, we'd wander onto the deck where the fireplace was, sit down, get, grab a couple of drinks, and just start going back and forth. That kind of stuff, you know, th these kinds of meetings and stuff like that are only going to happen there. Or, you know, that's th it's the only place where you can almost be assured of where I can almost be assured of that of meeting folks like this uh, so it's a it's a great opportunity for me it's also a great club there's a there's a there's a sort of a, a an unwritten but a, a hard and fast rule for a membership uh, no jerks <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, and they have an, uh, an entrance committee that, uh, that, that they can sniff them out. 